in in the title one of my um videos that i had privately or unlisted was um a video that i just had for for the family to send to some family members that didn't make a i know it's a bad recording it's um it was with a camera that was used cassette tapes but um there was a bit in it where we used someone else's uh some music for the funeral um while it was showing you know some pictures of grandma and that got claimed and to me that's really frustrating and, and someone brought it to my attention that you know that this is something that's like okay it's gone a bit far now and and i know that it can be just a, a robot in the system but this is kind of busted system because all of the power is given as many youtubers have stated in the past it's given all to just the um the people that make the claim that don't even have to prove that they made the claim and you can see here this is the video um this is the bit around here I was just playing a TV screen that, that I'm recording about 13 minutes in it says that which is a bit weird because it says 24 minutes here that's, that's a bit weird but um you can see here all of these different claimants um illegible footage sharing it you, you can see it all here make a video recently that um was about the best friends leaving and <laughs> I clearly wish that like my video um of that would have been as good a quality like my funeral video was as good as that video at least you know in terms of like video quality audio uh, visual and audio quality and um it obviously wasn't <laughs> um but no it, it's still a shame that the dispute is um, something that I have no power in. For anyone that wants to write, like, do a story on it or whatever, or fact check, I'm willing to um disclose the 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 link or whatever to pro to provide the um evidence of the video and all that. But um, <clears throat> as it stands, like, I'm I'm not gonna just post it and show it everywhere. Because it's obviously a private video, that's why it was unlisted. But they're still like looking for some money, and it, it's quite oddly specific. And a lot, multiple um, people held claims to that as well. That music is not just one, which seems a bit fishy to me. But my problem with this is, if I was to file for a dispute on this claim, that it is fair use, because I mean, it's it's for a private concession. You know, it's it's fair use. It, it applies to, you know application to someone's life and past memories so it's it's a bit annoying because if i was to appeal that that appeal and everything for it would go directly to the um content claimant holder not youtube or someone else so they would see my appeal and I, where i'm saying you know this is legally defendable and all that and they would have the option of shooting it down or saying sure we will we'll take this thing down like this content claim down which really bothers me because it's a busted system and i know youtube only does this because i don't want to step into the legal waters and do things themselves because they're too scared to have any le hold any legal responsibilities for any of these issues they want to detract themselves as far as possible from it but when it's happening on your site buddy it you are involved you know, you, you can try and push it as far away from you as possible, but you are involved, buddy. But, um, it's really bothersome because this is one of the more extremes. And, you know, as, as someone like, I don't think Jim Sterling said this, but I, I think he might have at some point said, you know, at what point, like, how bad does this has to get to, to show YouTube? Because I only fix things after the fact. How bad does it have to get before they realize, okay, this needs changing. We need to do something to fix it. Because at this point, it's like, you know, this is an extreme that it had to get to. That it's like, okay, we need to work on our system. And the reason why I used this was because when I was on trying to send it through Facebook to my family, it's like they only allowed 25 megabyte uploads and a, a video that's 35 minutes long or whatever 38 minutes long it's like that's simply too long to to just send in a 
25 megabyte bloody upload. Like you can only really do screenshots and crap like that and PDF files. You know, you, you can you can send like a, a whole funeral video to someone. So I, I of course did it through that. So it, it's um it's a bit annoying to have to be constantly thrown back into this pit, but and I I always pride myself on not making these videos that aren't actual gaming videos so I'm a bit annoyed to have to make this but I don't think because I posted a Twitter post which isn't with any official Twitter like I've only got my own personal account which I use for like everything because it's, you know a personal account so um I don't think they thought it was genuine when they saw the thing but it's like you know, I, I did contact them and they haven't done anything. It's only been a day since this happened. I only gave it so long. I, I wasn't sure if it'd pick up. The story doesn't seem to have picked up. But, um, yeah, on YouTube, I'm, I'm a small voice. But I still want to let my voice be heard by someone. Because at this point, it's like all of my content, claim, I'm getting so many where it's like this fits into fair use. But, and, and I have tried to dispute a couple of them, but I'm sending it straight to them. So I'm terrified because, like, if they decide that it's not fair use, then YouTube will close down my whole account for, as they said, filing a false um, appeal because they have all the power because YouTube doesn't look over anything. Not until someone starts big, big backlash, you know, like tons of YouTubers report on the fact and there's twitter posts everywhere then then you'll get through but otherwise just you alone won't make any sort of waves you know you you won't get through to anyone which is always the biggest concern with these sort of things because i've been working on youtube for years and you know when it's like they they're hoping to make money off it it's like my channel is not even big enough to run ads right my channel only has like less than 100 subs and you got to have a couple thousand subs to be able to run ads. And even then, like, I've spent multiple hundreds of dollars on my channel. And I've not even made a fucking dollar from it. Money that I put into from my own work. The, the time that I've spent actually, you know, passionately putting hard-earned money into to, to get nothing from it. And, and then they're asking for money from from a private event like that. Yeah, it's, it's going to fucking bother me. It's going to rile me up. YouTube doesn't want to get the hands dirty and do anything. A system in place, because someone we, I was just talking to was saying, there's no solution, there's no fix. Well, a solution is maybe getting employers when you've got the application to appeal. When you click the appeal button, instead of going straight to the actual person, I don't know, maybe, maybe YouTube could, I don't know, check that appeal. You know, have someone go through it so it's not just so one-sided that it's just all in the claimant holder. Maybe have the claimant holder at least have to verify they are the claimant holder because that whole Minecraft extortion thing that, that recently happened, no less. They didn't even have to verify that they were the owners of the content they were claiming was theirs and was misused. So, you know, there's, there's just a couple workarounds. It's, it's not that hard to have an employee just look over like five seconds of a, a music clip to see if it's actually, you know, if it is or isn't fair use because they've got the guidelines right there constantly shoved in your face whenever you try to make the appeal. So they've definitely got them there. It's, it wouldn't be that hard. Like, you, you're, you're working with YouTube, you know. You've you, you got thousands of countless people with you. It, People, they did complain like, oh, you know, that doesn't seem fair. It's like, well, they don't have to work fucking eight plus hour work days or anything. You just have someone casually, whenever there's a complaint, just check in, you know, leave the complaint for a couple of days. Don't let it go through like immediately then, you know, you can, you can have systems in place. It's, it's not that outrageous to actually try to put forth such an idea. If anything, it should be like more legally concerning when you don't because stuff like that Minecraft extortion thing will happen and the responsibility 
does somewhat fall onto YouTube for YouTube allowing things to happen like that because YouTube doesn't check it. So it is in YouTube's responsibility, even if it's not entirely, there is still partial responsibility. So they are still in this thing. It's not just all us YouTubers. And I feel like sometimes, and yes, this is my little recordings that I'm doing for it, but <clears throat> sometimes I feel like YouTube, even though it claims that it is helping us YouTubers, it's only really helping the big YouTubers and it's not really doing anything to help anyone else. Or it only helps them after the fact. If anything, I feel like it sometimes works against us smaller YouTubers. They might be forgetting that. I, I really hope this does come through to someone because I, I certainly don't know what to do about this. Um, it's not as big because it is only a content claim, but my concern is this has happened so many videos. One of them even was removed because of a, where I am um, to avoid having ads run or whatever. Like I just put it on private video or, or no, I age restricted it or something because um, was there was music when I was running over a hobo or something. So I'm like, oh yeah, I'll put it on age restricted. And then they completely removed the video, which I, I then had to, um, you know, take it off um, age restriction to, to change that again because the system's quite busted. And that, that's the point of the video, not to whinge about my funeral, my grandmother or anything, but yeah, after having to take care of my grandmother for like six months because she had cancer and didn't want to go to nursing home, it, it's quite a pain to have to go through all this YouTube bullshit too. I um, I hope this gets through to someone or you, you got some sort of valuable insight from this or something, then it gets through to YouTube perhaps, hopefully, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I hope you'll decide to watch my other videos and enjoy that, because I, I don't know if this would be too interesting, but, or enjoyable, rather.